Hi friends, welcome to this new tutorial for automating manual boring tasks. Today, we will design a script to automatically create PowerPoint slides. This video is inspired by an article I published in my blog. I added the link in the description. In the context of performance management for a global distribution network, we will see how can you automatically create PowerPoints showing visuals and comments after processing data extracting from logistic management systems. For our scenario, we are going to take an example of the global supply chain network of a retailer. You have stores all around the world that are replenished by regional and global warehouses, storing goods produced in factories. Planners send replenishment orders and delivery orders to replenish the warehouses and the stores. We will focus here on the store delivery. The question is, how can you use Python to automatically create performance reports in PowerPoints that you can use for your frequent operational meetings? As the distribution planning manager of your company, you organize at the end of each month an operational review with the store managers to assess the performance of the distribution network. To prepare this meeting, you create PowerPoint presentation with charts and analysis. The main source of information is the warehouse management system. You build SQL queries to extract shipment records. You manually process these records with Excel and you export graphs. You put these graphs and you add comments in PowerPoint presentation. The question is, how can you fully automate this process? So the objective is to fully automate the process. The scope is the last five weeks of shipment data. You automatically schedule an SQL query to extract raw shipment data. A Python script will perform the cleaning, formatting, and build visuals and write comments. And the same Python script will create PowerPoints with slides including the visuals and the comments created before. And you'll have your presentation ready for your meeting. Your script will have to build two types of slides. On the left are the slides showing the warehouse workload. It's a basic bar plot showing the number of orders and lines per day for each week. In total, you have five slides like this one. And on the right, you have the slides for the monthly analysis of the order profile. That's a stack bar plot showing the split of orders by number of lines per order. You have only one slide like this one, and each of the bar is representing one week. For both of them, you have text elements that will be updated based on the analysis done. These are the comments and insights you get from the data. And you have the visuals created by Python. To sum up, it's a four-step process for the data preparation and visual building. Step one, you get the raw shipment lines after the SQL query. Step two, you process the data to include operational ratios and specific KPIs. Step three, you build the visuals. And final step, you generate the comments and insight. Now you can move to the PPT presentation. You can find the full source code in my GitHub repository. There is a link in the description. To build a PowerPoint, we'll be using Python PPTX library. First, start by creating a PowerPoint presentation object that will be used to create our PPT file. For the first slide, we are going to use a specific layout with a title and a subtitle, and we'll choose the background color. Then we add the title, and finally the subtitle. So now your first slide is done. Then you can start creating slides for the daily workload of the last five weeks. You'll create a for loop to build the five slides. For each slide, you perform the calculation in the function analysis week that generates visuals and written comments. Then you can create the slide using the image slide layout. You add the title, you include the image. Note that you need to give the coordinate of the image using the distance from top and left. Then you can add a text box for the comments. Again, not how many parameters you have to locate this text box. You can then start to fill the box with comments. You start with the title of the box, analysis. Note that you need to fix the size of the text font. Then you can start to fill the bullet points. First bullet point with the total number of lines. The second one is showing the 
busiest day of the week. And finally, you show the average and the maximum daily workload. Then you can build the text box to show the, num the page number that will be at the bottom right. Note that there is no help to locate it automatically like uh, it's done in the normal PowerPoint. So you need to do it manually after several tries. Now you can switch to the second type of visual, the weekly analysis. The layout is the same. The only difference is that the title is fixed since this slide is covering all weeks. Step one, you generate the visual and return the comments with the function plot split. You can change the check the source code for more details. Then you can create the slide with the same layout, adding the title. The next step is to add the visual with the same dimension and coordinates as the previous visuals. And finally, you can add the bullet points with the comments stored in the list, list analysis returned by the function plot split. And again, you add the page number with the same code as before. And finally, you are done with the visuals and the full presentation, so you can save it in the local file. You can fully automate the process from data extraction, processing, visual building and comments, and finally PPT creation. I hope this video gave you enough insight on how to automate your future boring PPT presentations. If you have any questions, feel free to share them in the comment section.